Okay, hello everyone. Um, as promised in my New Year vlog, um, I'm going to do um, some more back to basics vlogs on in relation to equipment sizing, um, system design, and so on. So the very first one I'm going to do is very very straightforward, and um, it's just going to be on energy efficiency uh, units of measurement. So I'm just going to share the screen with you here. Um, give me two seconds, and I'll find it here. Okay, here we go. Share screen. Okay, so uh, hopefully you can all see that. Um, it's the first time I'm using this software, so it's a bit of a trial. Uh, hopefully it'll work. So like I said, this is just going to be on EER and ESEER, so energy efficiency uh, units of measurement. If you look at any chiller manufacturer's catalog, you will typically have a number of options, so a standard, a low noise, um, high efficiency innovated units, you could have um, super low noise, super high efficiency and so on. Um, <clears throat> this of course is an, uh, an extract from an Airmic uh, product guide. Uh, we of course represent Airmic uh, in EICL.e. So if you look at uh, the various models and the various capacities, you will have cooling capacity and then you will have an absorb power. Basically your cooling capacity divided by your absorb power is your E or your energy efficiency ratio at 100% load. That's very important to know. Um, so we also have another unit of measurement, ESE, which is European Seasonal Energy Efficiency Ratio, and that's more to do with part load efficiency, which is typically much more important. Um, we know that chillers will rarely run at 100% load, nor do we want them to run at 100% load because they're typically at their least efficient. Um, I have a completely uh, separate vlog, um, feel free to look it up there, um, on multi-chiller sequence controllers where I explain um, how the efficiency is better in uh, part and low load. Uh, so it's prudent to oversize chillers and run them in low, low load. I'm not saying to massively oversize, there's a bit of thought that should go into that, um, but give us a call if you want a bit of support in relation to that. So um, I'll just scroll on down here. And um, by the way, anybody that is giving you an EER or an ESEER, uh, sorry, let me just also show you, there are new units of measurement as well, NSC and SEER, um, which are more relevant nowadays. Um, and for heat pumps, by the way, it will be as well as COP, we'll see SCOP. So in Ireland, if you're looking to get your uh, TGD technical guidance document Part L 2017, which came in this time last year, January 2019, um, you will uh, need to submit your criteria for your part load efficiency with your SEUR and your SCOP. But I'll do a completely separate vlog on that. Um, today I'm focusing just on chillers and cooling. So um, Eurovent, um, who are completely not-for-profit, independent um, uh, assessment company, they will analyze the performance of the uh, chillers that, or, or heat pump that people submit, that manufacturers submit to them for independent assessment. So if they have their Eurovent certification, as you can see here, um, basically it does what it says in the tin. So look for your Eurovent uh, certification. So um, just to show your EER, basically cool capacity divided by your input power, as I said, um, there are different classifications and um, different, uh, different ratings and different classifications. So your air-cooled, your water-cooled, your remote condenser with a condenserless unit. Um, but like I said, we rarely run at 100% load. So your European seasonal energy efficiency ratio is more important, um, particularly for HVAC applications because they're um, ramping up and down throughout the, load, throughout the year to suit the load. So this is um, what's called a weighted formula. So you can see here, we assume that the chiller will run at 100% load for only 3% of the year. It will run at 75% load for 33% of the year. It will run 50% load for 41% of the year. And it will run at 25% load for 23% of the year. So all the manufacturers have to submit their uh, energy efficiency ratio using this formula. And therefore you will get um, an independently verified um, uh, classification from your event. Um, by the way, Airmic have um, all of their testing uh, chambers, their climatic test chambers, um, acoustic test chambers and so on, uh, Eurovent certified. So um, just to show you here also, um, at 100% load, we assume the ambient is 35 degrees C. At 75% load, it's 30 degrees C. And as you can see, we assume that as the load drops, the ambient is dropping for HVAC applications. Um, if it's a water-cooled chiller, the uh, temperatures that are being used are different. 
as you can see there. If you have a client um, that's not European, perhaps uh, American, um, they may look for the IPLV unit of measurement. So it's a similar formula, but just slightly, a slight different variation of it. Um, and as you can see, the uh, criteria that they ask for is supply seven, uh, return 12, which are five degrees delta C, at an ambient of 35 degrees C, because remember, they're, they're testing for all of Europe, so everyone has to supply uh, the data at the same conditions. And if it's a heat pump, they will use a dry bulb ambient of seven, with a supply 45, return of 40, again, using your five degree delta C. That is it, my first um, basic vlog on energy efficiency EO, energy efficiency um, uh, EOR and ES EOR. Hope you find it useful. Um, I'm gonna do a lot more of these um, across a whole range of topics. Um, I'm gonna do some on pipe sizing, on um, low loss header sizing, on buffer tank sizing, all that type of stuff. Um, and uh, sure we will go from there. I may even do some on selection software um, because we're giving that information out to our consulting engineers. So uh, hopefully you've enjoyed that. Uh, I'll just stop sharing the screen there. Um, if you want any uh, systems in relation to um, chillers, heat pumps, multifunctional heat pumps, very, very much on trend at the moment. Um, we saw a vast increase in the uh, supply uh, of those last year, and I think that's gonna ramp up more and more again. Um, so just give us a call. Um, the office number here is 018255155 or email chillers at eicl.ie. And I will talk to you all again soon. And by the way, if you enjoy the vlogs as I'm doing them, uh, please give me a little bit of feedback. Um, you know, even just a like or a thank you or whatever, and let me know if, or if you have a particular topic you want to have uh, covered, let me know and uh, we'll see what we can do. Thank you very much.